Okay, welcome back to science. So we started talking about this the other day. And what? who can summarize? What is the geosphere? What is the geosphere? Yeah, so geosphere is basically the ground you're standing on. So any ground anywhere is the geosphere. So... The island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is the geosphere. Um, now, what is the hydrosphere? The hydrosphere is water. So water can take, um, well, like three forms, but two forms is the stuff we're really talking about, right? We're really specifically talking about the form of what you solid. solid which would be ice right or the liquid which is the water you see so um what you're going to do in the top left hand corner we wrote how the geosphere interacts with the hydrosphere and then you're going to put by and you're going to put your name and i said this box is worth one point Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's really cool because um, I took a G, which has to do with rocks, right? And um, they talked about sandstone, and sandstone's made from sand and the water putting pressure on the sand and packing it down, and then eventually it forms rock. It's kind of cool. So that's why there's a lot more sandstone than meat. That would be a good, that would be a good observation. I actually saw the other day, and this is not geosphere interacting with a hydrosphere, but somebody took a picture at the beach, and the sand was frozen, and then when the wind came, it made like little sand castle-y type things with just the sand of the erosion. So cool looking. All right, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so glacier. So I said, so three points coloring so coloring each box that's colored is worth one point and I like it colored I like it to look nice and you know that right and I said wording in each box is going to be worth one point I said you need to use geosphere or hydrosphere um, and that's each worth one point um, so this is the picture of Miss Richardson climbing the steps up to see the glacier and I was showing you the shear face of the the rock the mountain that I was climbing up and I told you it was kind of iffy when I was um it was raining that day I forgot to tell you that and some of the steps that I was stepping on was like they literally took a log and they cut it in half and that was what you're stepping on wood is not super safe when it's wet I'm just saying and there was only and there was only a railing on one side and some of the time you could look oh don't move. Don't slip and fall. That's what I was thinking. Don't slip and fall, Miss Richardson. Just get up there and come back. And sometimes the railing would be on your side that you're going up, and sometimes it's on the other side, the people's side going down. Anyways. Um, so this is me in Switzerland. I'm climbing up to see a glacier, and I said the glacier is the hydrosphere. And um, the, this around would be the geosphere, right? Climbing up. And then um, my next box um, showed you the glacier, which is the hydrosphere. And the geosphere, that's the, the stuff that came out of the glacier that was left behind the glacier. And there's also geosphere around the glacier, right? Because it's dirt and there's... Um, rocks and pebbles and stuff the, the so the inside is like sweet looking ice i need to bring my pictures in i forgot so the glacier the hydrosphere slowly goes across the geosphere um so it goes like so the glacier they say i want to say it's like at its speediest the glacier moves like five inches or centimeters a, a, a year so like it's not like it's not even like over time you can measure it right you know like so, so many years you can see like how far it's gone but I mean 
you you could potentially put a stake in it at the beginning of every year, right? Where 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 it starts, ch -ch -ch, tap a stake in there, and then at the end of the year, tap another stake in there, and then see exactly how far it's moved. Um, it picks up rocks and dirt and leaves rocks and dirt behind. So this is one way that the hydrosphere, the ice in the glacier, is interacting with the geosphere. It's picking up part of the ground and it's depositing it when it... Um, this is kind of a decent, really good thing to do. You asked, and I don't think so because concrete is partially man-made. Well, I mean, you know, because like part of it would be considered the geosphere, the stone would be considered geosphere, but part of it is also us putting it together. So I'd prefer you not use concrete or asphalt because that was one of your questions. Well, remember, beaver dam, wood, is that considered the geosphere? That would be considered the biosphere, right? Because it's a living thing. Wood is living. I mean, clearly it's not living right now as a part of my desk. But at one point of the game, it was living, right? Or those um, schools. Were yeah. All right. So then the last picture, I, and I left this. So this was when I went up to the glacier, what I saw in the glacier. And then at one point in the game, we went to, and I don't, I don't know if it was a museum or what exactly it was. And I said, this was really cool because it shows like a corkscrew and there's a picture, uh, there's a rock in there. And that the, the glacier made the impressions and made like the corkscrew look to the rock when it was coming across. And then other rocks you could see they like indented, they made a groove in there and you could see the rocks. So I said the glacier, which was the hydrosphere, picked up the rocks, the geosphere, and dug grooves into, a, into rock forever changing the geosphere. So even though the glacier is long gone and it's melted from there, you can still see the evidence of where the glacier. So your assignment was to make your own comic strip and you are going to explain how the geosphere, which is the ground, interacts with the hydrosphere. Now remember, you're talking the geosphere, which is the ground, and the hydrosphere, which is water or its other sibling, ice, right? Um, does it matter what examples you use? No, but I want you to show me, like... This is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like in the middle of the process. This is what it looked like after the process. Or, or give me three different pictures. You can draw comics. You can draw a couple of people talking. You do have to have wording explaining what it is. Like, um, I can't think of the word. Like a caption. You have to have a caption explain to me what's going on in the picture. Um, so wording... Um, you have to use geosphere, hydrosphere, you have to draw pictures, so you got points for coloring, points for wording, points for using geosphere, hydrosphere in every box, and then um, points, for points for labeling. So yep, I labeled the rock, and the rock and the geosphere, and the geosphere and the glacier. So labeling, so you have to label the geosphere and the hydrosphere in each of the boxes. Um, So this is what I'm going to say to you. If you were teaching a third grader or a second grader about geosphere and hydrosphere, what would you want labeled for the, the third grader to understand or the second action between I labeled it here and I didn't label it here? Eh, maybe, maybe not. So pretend that you're talking to somebody who has no idea what they're talking about 
and and then treat it as such. Does that help? So you're pretending if I know nothing, I want to know what you've learned about how the geosphere and the hydrosphere interact together. Okay? Any other questions? If I didn't label this as the glacier in hydrosphere, could you tell it's a glacier? Yeah. Probably not. I'm good. So, I, my suggestion is to label it. Um, you are getting points for labeling, so I would label it just to make sure that I know that you know what you're doing. Does that make sense? Fantastic. Any other questions? That was a great question. Yeah, so my two great questioners, purple and three, purple slips. Uh, it has to be real. So it doesn't have to be something that you've seen happen, but it has to be something that's legit that could really happen. Yes. You're not going to say the geosphere and the hydrosphere interact this way in the land of Pokemon. Because I don't live in the land of Pokemon. I don't know much about Pokemon, so you can't really talk to me about what happens in Pokemon. So we're talking real legitimate, like, if I stepped outside in the right, on the right continent in the right country, I could see this really happening. It doesn't have to be something you've seen with your eyes. I've gone to Switzerland. If I hadn't gone to Switzerland or I hadn't gone to Alaska, would I have ever seen a glacier? No, I've never been to Alaska. My friend has been, I have a couple friends that have been to Alaska, and they've got some really cool pictures to prove that they've been to Alaska. But I've never been to Alaska. So even though I've never been to Alaska, I can tell you about how the geosphere and the hydrosphere are interacting together because what happens is what's happening in that school, right? They can no longer have school in that school because the hydrosphere has been slowly claiming land in the geosphere and they no longer can safely go to school in their school. So even though I've not seen that, I know that and I could use it as my comic strip. Um, could, like, could you base this off of your pictures? My pictures? If I don't it's think it's copy, but more as if you are using your own words and you are explaining it in different words and it's not the same exact ideas, I have no problem with you bouncing off my ideas. However, if it looks like copying, I'm probably going to call it copying. If it sounds like copying, I'm probably going to call it copying. And it's not like I don't know what I wrote and it's not that I can't go to YouTube and figure out Okay, any other questions, comments, concerns? Is this yes or no? All right. All right, good luck. We'll talk to you later. Bye.